like to call this meeting to order. Stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay, nothing. Okay, motion. Richard, yes. Just should we mention that we have a guest with us? Oh, uh, okay. Along with Tracy Hart, like to introduce her. Yeah, uh, this is my Trina Shadow for the day. This is Grace Bass. She's a junior at us. Great. Thank you for thank you for doing this. Uh, a motion two one three thousand. A motion to appoint a chairman and a vice chairman of the salary board. We have a motion to approve a chair to uh, appoint a, a chairman. I'll make a motion to appoint Commissioner Dapper. Okay, I'll second it. On the question, <coughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now. Yeah. And that's it. Now okay, it's on you. Okay, so a motion to appoint a vice chairman. I will make a motion to appoint to to appoint Jerry Natiriani as vice chair. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, 21-3001, motion to follow Robert's rules of order for conducting the salary board meetings. Do I have a motion? To, okay. Do I have a second? Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 21-3002 under assessors. Motion to create eight positions titled Board of Assessment at a salary of $9,000 per year. Brian. Yes, Madam Commissioner. This is not really creating positions. What this is, the Board of Assessors um, under the new staff, federal law. Not, sorry. Bring, bring the mics close. Sorry, really sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the Board of Assessors has been in, 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 in play for many years now. Uh, the IRS came in and said they need to have uh, IDs, uh, employee IDs, so we have to basically create the positions that they have already held and so that they have uh, employee IDs and that can be taxable income. Anybody have any questions? Chief, are these the same assessors that we have on board now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Do I have a motion to approve 21-03? I'm sorry, 21-3002? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Human Resources 21-3003, motion to change the title of Human Resources slash Benefit and an Analyst to HR Generalist. Hi, Justin. Commissioner? Uh, yeah, this is a motion to change the title of HR Benefit Analyst to HR Generalist. Um, this was supposed to be done last budget cycle. Okay, just a title change. That's it. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Justin? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3003? <clears throat> motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, 21-3004, this is under information technology, motion to change the title of system support specialist to office services clerk. This is uh, uh, to reflect a downgrading of a position that an employee moved into. So per the CBA, we need to change the title and the union has agreed to this. Anybody have any questions for Justin? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3004? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Justin. Veterans Affairs 21-3005, motion to change the title of Veteran Services, I'm sorry, Veteran Service Officer to Veteran Service Officer 1 and to increase the salary from $26,390 to $32,000 retroactive to November 30th, 2020 due to accredita accreditation. accreditation. <laughs> it's a mouthful. little tongue-tie. Hi, Dave. <clears throat> How are you? 
So this, with COVID and everything going on, our new hire uh, got accredited to do everything that is acquired in our office, and there should have been a salary change at that moment. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it to do it, so we're correcting it now. Does anybody have any questions for Dave? No. Do I have a motion to approve 21-3005? Uh, motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 21-3006, motion to change the title of veteran service officer to office clerk and to decrease the salary from 32000 to 26390 So our new hire, um, unfortunately, we lost Mr. Bailey. And uh, for some reason, there was a, a title mix-up. A veteran service officer does the state and federal benefits, where Mr. Bailey's position was just office clerk. He would do filing, answer phones, triage calls, and so on and so forth. So we just wanted to correct that title and the salary. OK. Anybody have any questions for Dave? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3006? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Planning economic development. 21-3007, motion to create a senior planner position at a salary of $45,000 with the savings <clears throat> from the elimination of the vacant transportation planner and vacant assistant planner positions. Brenda. Hi. Uh, this motion is to eliminate two planning department positions and create a senior planner position. The new position will allow us to attract a candidate with the proper skill set, experience, and education. In addition, it will enable us to be competitive in attracting qualified eligible candidates and retaining them once they're trained. And it's budget neutral? Uh, savings, actually. Savings, OK. Yes. Anybody have any questions for Brenda? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3007? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 21-3008, motion to create two part-time clerks at $11.50 per hour. Brenda. Uh, this motion will allow for the creation of two internship uh, positions within the Planning and Economic Development Department. It's actually a win-win for the intern and, and the county as well. OK. And that will be like college students? Yes. Okay. Yes. Anybody else have any questions? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3008? Motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a question? Will that be year round that you would have someone there? Um, potentially, depending on how many hours. I think there's a limit on the amount of hours that they could work within the year. I believe that. Um, I think Justin left, but I believe that. Um, so if they're working 20 hours a week, it, it, I think it goes to the amount that they accrue to a certain time. Thank you. You're welcome. Do I have a motion to approve 21-3008? So moved. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Environmental sustainability, 21-3009, motion to change the title of recycling manager to director of, of environmental sustainability. Brian. Madam Commissioner, this is an overdue change. Uh, Nicole Shapiro has been the recycling manager for us for a very long time. And as you know, we've been out of the recycling business for a very long time. Um, she is more uh, informed for the director of environmental sustainability uh, going out to schools and teaching uh, multiple classes on recycling and, and how to take care of the environment throughout the year. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve 21-3009? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Emergency services, 21-3010. Motion to change the title of Deputy Director 911 and Training Officer to Deputy Director 911 and 911 coordinator and to increase the salary from 60,000 to $65,000, Brian. Madam Commissioner, the, uh, the current uh, Deputy Director of 911 is also the training officer at this moment in time. We were dropping that title off of him and putting on 911 coordinator and upping his salary by $5,000. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Brian? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3010? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Emergency management, 21-3011, motion to increase the salary of Deputy Director Emergency Management from $59,139 to $65,000. Brian. Madam Commissioner, this is once again just a, this is an increase of almost five, a little bit over $5,000 to make it even with the Director of 911. Shouldn't we, shouldn't he be the title change to Director or no? 
they're both called deputy directors at this point. I, I've always been against the word deputy in front of the of all the directors' names. But okay, all right. Um, do I have any? Does anyone have any questions for Brian? Chief, is there a savings in the office? Yes, yeah, so the, the 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 money that's being allocated for these two salaries came out of the, the David Hunt salary. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve twenty one dash three zero one one? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Are you a nay? No. Okay. Uh, Human Services 21 3012, motion to create a position of contract officer at a salary of $45,372. <clears throat> hey, Bill. Hi. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Uh, this position would be in charge of, of all the contracts throughout Human Services. And uh, I should po point out that. Uh, 3012, uh, 15, and 16 are all from savings through the elimination of a, a fiscal assistant position. Um, so it, it is cost neutral. But uh, this position would uh, take over all the contracting functions for human services rather than having individual people in, in uh, departments that are responsible for that. Anyone have any questions for Bill? Do I have a motion to approve 21 3012? Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 21-3013, Aye. a motion to create a position of community health nurse administrator at a salary of $41,462. This position is grant funded and will assist us with a, a mandatory a program called Plans of Safe Care. We're required to reach out to uh, the mothers of parents uh, that are, are of children that are addicted to substances and then provide services. This position would be responsible for training, coordinating medical services, et cetera. Um, and it is grant funded for two years. At the end of two years, it's expected this position then would transfer over uh, to the Department of Health. And Bill, I'm sorry, if we can back up the position before that the contract officer, was that grant funded as well? No, that's just from uh, a savings from uh, uh, positions that are being eliminated and combined I, okay i missed that okay yep. but still it's either budget neutral or budget. savings correct? correct okay um do anybody have any questions for bill on this <clears throat> one? do i have a motion to approve 21-3013 motion second on the question all in favor aye, aye. 21-3015 motion to change the title of fiscal technician to fiscal administrator two from a salary of thirty three thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars to a salary of $35,448.99. And uh, as I stated earlier, this position, the one following that, are just uh, taking over some of the functions of the eliminated position. So it's an existing staff member that'll be bumped up uh, commensurate with uh, the new responsibilities. Anybody have any questions for Bill? Is this budget neutral? Yes, Bill? it is. Thank you. Okay, do I have a motion to approve 21-3015? Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 21-3016, Aye. motion to change the title of Office Administrator 1 to Fiscal Administrator 1 from a salary of $29,416 to $30,887, Bill. And this is the same as above, just picking up um, uh, tasks from the eliminated position, and it is budget neutral. Anybody have any questions? So I have a motion to approve 21-3016. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Moving into the Office of Youth and Family Services, 21-3017. Motion to change the title of two caseworker twos to caseworker ones. And this is uh, due to the, the ongoing uh, uh, attrition and uh, uh, vacancies of caseworkers. Uh, the first six months, all caseworkers are caseworker ones. After six months, they're caseworkers two. So when they leave, they are filled almost always with caseworker one. So it's just a title change. There is no difference. If anything, it's a, a savings briefly. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Bill? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3017? Motion. Second. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Area Agency on Aging. <clears throat> motion 21-3018, motion to change the title of the vacant clerk typist to a case aid two. This is a, a just a, a, a title change. It allows more flexibility of functions. Uh, so as the clerk typists are eliminated, 
uh, uh, case aides are able to perform more duties than a clerk typist. So they could do like typing, but they could also do transportation, et cetera. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions? So I have a motion to approve 21 3018. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Parks and Rec. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks. 21 3019. A motion to increase the rate of three part time seasonal and one part time maintenance from $8. 50 cents per hour to $13 and 50 cents per hour and to eliminate four vacant part-time seasonal positions. Hi, Jerry. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, we're at, the motion is to combine the seven part-time seasonal and part-time main uh, at 850 an hour into uh, four part-time seasonal or part-time maintenance, whatever way you, you'd like to put it, uh, at a savings of $5 an hour for, for the total. Um, mainly to attract people that were over 18 to be able to do the work that anybody under 18 can't use anything with a motor on it or anything like that. So to attract somebody over 18 that could weed whack or, or mow or anything like that, we thought we'd have to raise it up to at least 1350. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Jerry? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3019? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 21-3020, motion to change the title of lifeguard supervisor to part-time maintenance and to increase the pay from $11.50 per hour to $13.50 per hour. This motion, um, since we didn't have any lifeguards this year, Frank Stevens has been in that position and he's been perform performing maintenance. So we thought if we'd move him into the maintenance at $13.50, he's currently there at $11.50. So we thought if we moved him into the part-time maintenance for $13.50. How long has he been there? Uh, April 29th he started okay so he only has maybe two more months uh, for his part-time hours uh, I'd say to the beginning of uh, the end of October I think he should be out of hours anyway so okay does anybody have any questions for Jerry do I have a motion to approve 21 dash 3020 motion second on the question all in favor Aye. 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 thank you thank you district <coughs> attorneys 21-3021, motion to change the title of secretary slash receptionist to secretary slash clerk. clerk. Mark. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, simply a title change for the first motion and to increase job responsibilities uh, of the receptionist. Okay. Any questions for Mark? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3021? Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion, or... Uh, 21-3022, motion to increase the salary of the assistant DA from 47278 to $50,000 from the savings from the reduction of a vacant assistant DA salary. Mark. This is a budget neutral request. We reduced uh, an ADA salary and increased a more experienced uh, ADA salary. Um, and therefore, I'm requesting the pay increase. Does anybody have any questions for Mark? So I have a motion to approve 21-3022. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Commissioners and County Controller, uh, Judge Corbett has joined us on the phone. Oh, hi, Judge. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Judge. Adult probation, 21-3023. A motion to change the title of receptionist to receptionist slash a clerk. I don't know why I keep messing that word up. Frank. Good afternoon, everyone. Frank Castellano, Court Administrator. Um, this uh, request is to more properly reflect the job duties of the individual who will be taking this position. So we respectfully request that it be approved. Anybody have any questions? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3023? So moved. Second. On the question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank 21 you. 21-3024, motion to create a probation officer at a starting salary of $37,515. Thank you, uh, commissioners. This is a budget neutral request, as we had discussed in previous meetings. Uh, we respectfully request that this uh, motion be approved. Is this the position that's gonna be stationed at the Lackawanna County? At, at the prison. At the prison. Working with the inmates. That is okay. correct, commissioner. So will it, that person be there full time like at the prison or will they can commute? So I, that will be something that will have to be worked out with the chief of adult probation as well as the president judge. 
whether they are there full time or whether they have to return to the bricks building from time to time uh, to be with the other officers, the primary duties and responsibilities will be uh, at the prison. Perfect. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve 21-3024? Motion. Second. On the question? All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Thank you. Courts. 21-3025 motion to change the title of fee admi fees administrator to director of court collections uh, commissioners this is uh, really just to to make the title more appropriate uh, because the individual that's in the position is the director of court collections uh, and you know we recently hired a new person a couple of months ago after our long time director had retired and that's when we realized that the title really didn't reflect the management position so uh, that's why we're asking that this title change be made Anybody have any question for Frank? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3025? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 21-3026, motion to change the title of secretary clerk for central court to office manager for central court. Folks, this is the exact same situation. The individual that's in the position is the manager of our central court office and staff. This was an opportunity to change the title to more appropriately reflect uh, the job duties. Anybody have any questions for Frank? <clears throat> Motion to approve 21-3026. So moved. So moved. Right, Second. So, okay. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Magistrates. 21-3027, motion to increase the salary of secretary from $31,627 to $32,150, Frank. Uh, commissioners, this was to bring that position in line with the other positions in the office. And as we have discussed and shown you, this actually results in a savings uh, for the county budget, which was based on the retirement of another individual. We were able to keep the salaries in line so that they are uh, equal, fair, and appropriate. So it is a budget savings. Do I have a motion to approve 21-3027? Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Frank. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you all. Have a great day. You too. Warren and Betty, dry. you are up. 21-3028, motion to change the title of Acting Deputy Warden of Operations to Deputy Warden of Operations. Uh, yes, uh, back in March, uh, we had a uh, change and we have uh, had a person in there as the Acting Deputy Warden of Operations, Colleen Orzel, and she's uh, actually exceeded expectations and doing wonderfully there. And we're looking to officially get her title changed from Acting to Deputy Warden Oper of Operations. Anybody have any questions? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3028? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 31- I'm sorry, 21-3029, motion to change the weekly hours for the business supervisor from 70 hours to 80 hours per pay period and to adjust the salary to reflect the additional hours from $40,721 to $46,538, Tim. Yes, our, our business supervisor has been uh, working a 70 hour pay period. Uh, it's kind of reflective back to years ago when they followed the, uh, the, the court schedule. Uh, the reality is there's a lot of, lot of work that's there, plenty to keep uh, her busy for the entire 80 hours and, and everybody else in the institution is on an 80 hour work schedule. So it's not a pay increase, it's a, it's a pay increase, but it just conforms with the additional hours, in other yes. words. Yes. Okay, does anybody have any questions for, sorry, for Tim? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3029? <clears throat> motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 30, 21-30. 30, motion to create a licensed mental health clinician at a salary of $46,000 with the savings from the elimination of two correctional counselor positions. Tim. Yes, we've identified uh, the need for a licensed uh, mental health clinician. Uh, that individual's chief responsibilities will be crisis management and doing one-on-one -on -one counseling with uh, inmates who are struggling. Um, and the, the correctional counselor positions being eliminated uh, earlier in the year, we had laid off three correctional counselors due to the decrease in, 
in uh, population and in the decrease in uh, workload. So there will be a savings? Yes, actually when you take all three things into account, we're looking at saving uh, about 30, a little over $30,000 a year. And this is part of you growing a mental health, behavioral health, Absolutely. substance abuse department? Yes, this would be a fourth individual for the county prison staff. Okay, any questions for Tim? Do I have a motion to approve 21-3030? So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Drug and alcohol, 21-3031. Motion to change the title of two case management specialist master's level to case management specialist due to the fact that no masters are held. Who's speaking on this? Uh, Is someone going to speak on this? What do you want to do? Well, I mean, Barbara did feel concerned. Barbara, Barbara directly filled me in on all this. This is one of those situations where the individuals with the master's levels are in, they're not, they don't have master levels, but they're in these positions that require master levels. So they had to, they're bringing the position back downwards into a different title, case management specialist. Uh, you had two individuals who were in a case management specialist master's levels, and now they're bringing the, the position. They're just reading. It's a title change. It's a title change. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm making it way too long. What should <laughs> You've been around too many lawyers too much. I have been around <laughs> way too many lawyers. <laughs> right, right. Do I have a motion to approve 21 3031? <clears throat> motion. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opportunity for the public to address the board. Larry, did you? Commissioner, may I be recognized uh, as the chief public defender? Sure. I'm crashing the meeting with apologies, uh, but what brings me here are circumstances that just developed within the last 24 hours. Uh, and I'm looking to uh, request, uh, in effect, a, a change in two positions in my office from clerk typist to uh, one would be a clerk two and one would be a uh, data entry clerk. The context is this. I uh, have six support staffers in my office. Uh, we, in an extraordinary development as well, uh, we have uh, suffered the resignations because they're being, they're getting other, taking other positions of three clerk types. So I'm, I'm my six support, my six person support staff is being cut in half. Yesterday, I interviewed applicants for the three positions, and there were two extraordinary uh, women, uh, both of whom I hired in the interview, and a third I also offered the position to at the end of the day. Uh, what brings me here and what's, what, what the issue is, is that the one person that I interviewed and, and offered the position to is a woman who uh, works currently in central court. Uh, she's an exceptional candidate. She happens to be African-American and multilingual. And I have been desperate to bring diversity to the Office of Public Defender for years. I've been trying to recruit lawyers from the various uh, Pennsylvania law schools for the last several years without success. This woman is interested in moving from Central Court to our office. Uh, and, and she was, as, as I said, a superb candidate. When, I, when she found out yesterday what the salary was, she was taking about a $5,000 pay cut. And of course, after consultation with her husband by phone, said she couldn't do it. Uh, uh, and, and I thought, it's just so unfair. She wants a job. We could use her desperately, especially with her multilingual capabilities and her already experience in the criminal justice system, I might add. All the other uh, folks I interviewed yesterday, none of them had either office experience or legal experience. So. This makes this particular woman uh, uh, really, really special. So if I were to reclassify two clerk typist positions, and that is, that is again, the positions for which all these people applied, this, if I could reclassify one to a clerk two and move this, hire this person into that position, she's already told me if we could make it work, she would take the position, uh, which would be great news. I should say that, she comes with enthusiastic uh, support and endorsement from Judge Barace, and I th 
think I dare speak for Frank Castellano as well. The, the, the quality, the caliber of her, of her industry and of her integrity and of her honesty. So she'd be a terrific uh, addition to our staff. If, if we were, if, if the salary board were to, were to allow that, I would also want to do, um, uh, create this, uh, convert a clerk typist position to a data entry position, which would also be about a $5,000 raise. I have a longtime employee as a clerk typist who, who, who now will be the veteran on the staff uh, who could move into that. Again, it'd be a bump about 5,000 from her current position. She's at 27,000 and, and change and she'd move to 31 or, or 32,000 approximately. And, and frankly, I think it'd be grossly unfair uh, even though this person I'm talking about moving from central court would be wonderful, uh, I think it'd be grossly unfair, especially for my current clerk typist, the veteran, who's doing multiple tasks al already, uh, as she's probably been, been entitled to this reclassification and, and raise for some time. But I found out about an hour ago the salary board was meeting at this moment. Timing could not have been better for me perhaps terrible for you. Certainly I'm prepared, not now, but I can supply whatever documentation or justification otherwise that, that you might need. But I, I wanted to at least uh, make the presentation to the salary board. So there's two clerk typist positions? Presently, and I'm looking to convert. Make one to clerk two. Yes. And add $5,000 to the rate to salary. Well, that, the, the clerk two position comes with a, a 5,000. Uh, it would be, in, a, in effect, a $5,000 raise. But that's the... In other words, the clerk two position, and forgive me, I'm rounding. Clerk two position is like 31,000 and change. Forgive me for not being precise. The clerk typists make about 27,000 and change. So if they move from into a clerk two position, that salary is the 31,000, and okay. you know, according to the union. Uh, and similarly with the data entry, entry. position. Uh. Do you want to call an executive session to discuss this? I, I will say this in, in public, I, I, and I, I just say this is for what it's worth. If we allow this, you set a precedent where yeah, directors and, and other wasn't officers will come I, in at the last second and say, I've got this, i got this, i got this. We've notified our directors. I'm sorry that this happened in 24 hours, but yeah, the position was only... open a lot longer than 24 hours, correct? The positions were, but not the circumstances that, as I said, that I, brought me I understand me that, but you interviewed yesterday. Everybody was notified when there was a salary board. Yeah. If you wanted to interview them last week and had this problem, then I think we could have we could have arranged something. I didn't different. know the problem existed until yesterday afternoon. Right. I I, I, I feel for you, but I, I once again reiterate: I'm not a lawyer, but I say when when I say that if if this is the case, if we do allow this, then we will have other directors coming in at the last minute saying, "I can't hire this person because I need more money," and we don't have any numbers in front of us. No, we can't. My it's question to, to the lawyers is, or to the lawyer is, um, the Sunshine Act, or, or would it be in violation of that? If potentially, it's not been, it's not been publicly, it's not advertised. I mean, I understand both scenarios, and, and, and I've worked in the office a lot of years, so I understand it. Uh, you know, look, why don't we, why don't we have a five-minute quick executive session and just come back? Okay. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take a five minute Thank you. session. If you need more information, Commissioner.
I understand it is, and I don't disagree with the concept. <laughs> just a little, again, you can't make it appear, and it's not. We're back. Okay. We're back. Madam Commissioner, we're back. Uh, Mr. Moran, Attorney Moran, what we we have new uh, sunshine law guidelines that went into effect on August 29th. What's on the agenda is the only things that can be voted upon. Also, these two positions, we think, we're not sure, are unionized positions, which then would have to be negotiated with the change of titles with the Human Resources Department. Might I suggest that we have Justin McGregor contact you, talk to the union about changing these position titles and the, and the numbers, put it into your budget, and then they'll vote on, it on the budget within two months. And the person who you're asking to take this job, ask them to be patient for the next 60 days. Sounds like a great suggestion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to uh, okay. Anybody else opportunity for the public to address the board? Members, other business? Just a comment, please. Sure. Chairman, um, it should be noted that it, it may appear to the public that the salary board uh, pretty much approves everything that comes before it. But the fact of the matter is that Many requests come to the salary board during their work sessions prior to these meetings and do not get approved. So I just wanted to mention that for the record. Thank you. And that's an understatement because we, we got quite a few requests. So, okay, I'll take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.